What's good, YouTube? We are back. Another video on OEM Plus YouTube channel, your favorite unenthusiastic car enthusiasts. So yeah, this, this is gonna be number one, first video of the Dream Garage build series that I'm doing here. So as you know from my previous video, I recently moved into a new home. We built from the ground up. And in that home, I have a three car garage now, which is great, I love it. Cause I have a lot of cars and now I want to build it out so that it is pretty much a place where I never want to leave and never go in the house. So, so that's what I'm doing now. So <clears throat> first thing that I'm gonna be doing in today's video is going over the, uh, the storage solutions cabinets that I chose to buy and go with. And I've already started to build them and put them together. And I just wanted to bring you guys along so you can, you know, I could show you products and you know, where I got them from and you know what I think my overall impressions of it so let's get to it let's start the show all right but first let's just admire the M3 under this lighting so nice so much space even in, in between the cars so I got sharp nose over there um, yeah plenty of space about four feet in between so yeah, love it. So let's go over these. All right, so here I have the Seville Classic Ultra HD cabinets. And then I also did the Ultra HD workbench, uh, Seville Classics. And these are the white ones they do come in. They have a gray, a dark gray, a red, I believe. But I went with the white because the white ones were on sale. So. Got these bad boys for a great price. I think they were like, these are like 214 a piece, I believe. Yeah, so I got three. So I only have two installed right now. The other one's in the box over here. This is the box that it comes with. Here, super heavy box, but everything's in there. Um, yeah, so I'll show you guys tips and tricks on installing them, but it's pretty straightforward. Once you do one, you can pretty much solid on doing everything else. Uh, has wheels which is good so I can move them around. Little bumper things here and they lock, which I would probably never use, but I mean, just put my cleaning stuff in here. I'm still unpacking, but yeah, I mean, it's just really good quality shelving. I love it. I think it's perfect. So the whole setup that I have is about 14 feet long so my next one will go on this side um which would you know pretty much even out this wall to where you know have the whole back of the garage for all my stuff put all my utility stuff and then i gotta get a um toolbox solution because i'm kind of kind of growing out of this one. As you start to do more stuff to your car, and it requires different tools. You gotta keep adding, adding, adding. So this thing, I'm like bursting out of this. So we're gonna get an upgrade for that. Um, yeah. So yeah, plenty of space, as you can see. I can walk around the car and then got plenty of space to walk behind uh, and stuff. But yeah, that's what I've done so far is these storage cabinets, highly recommend. I think I got the whole thing. So they have like kits where you can buy the workbench and then they have these bigger upper overhead overhead cabinets that I just didn't want to deal with. And, didn't, and I didn't want to get anything though. I didn't want to do cabinets on the wall because I just didn't feel like dealing with studs and all that stuff. So I went with these. Instead of buying like the kit, I just, bought three of these and then the workbench and it was like $200 less than what a uh, seven, six or eight piece kit would have cost and it fits my needs. So um, I got it from Sam's Club as opposed to the Seville Classic website. So Sam's Club is actually a lot cheaper and they did have them on sale. So came out really good, I'm super happy with it, but I got to now put this third one together and get everything uh, squared away and good to go. So let's go ahead and start that process. All right, so I'm not gonna like do a how-to video for this because there's plenty of them out there. I just wanted to show you guys 
what it looks like and getting everything installed or put together. So this is the, the box. It's very heavy. It's like 100 pounds, probably more, over 100 pounds. Um, I'll take the little wrap things off. See that. So the first one I opened, I opened it from like the side and it was a it was a mess. So what I learned from the second one that I opened is that you just open up, cut the top and pull everything out. That way you can keep all the styrofoam inside and um, you know, clean, it's easy to clean up. So let's go ahead and do that and then go from there. You just pop it open from the top there and you know, make it a little bit easier. So from here, Again, it's a lot of fucking pieces. But once you do one, you can knock out the next one in like an hour, maybe less. Lots of styrofoam. You just start pulling out panels. And again, you can check out plenty of uh, YouTube videos on how to do that. I, I'm not, I don't feel like you're doing it. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I will do a quick, um, once I get the third one put in, I'll show you guys what that looks like. Um, maybe like a little B-roll at the end, but that's it. Seville Ultra HD cabinets. They are probably the best storage solutions that I've seen uh, for the price. Getting like custom styling with uh, without paying you know, five, six thousand dollars for cabinets. So I think it ties in well with my garage, the floors, how what the, the look that I'm going for, and. Again, this is part one. This is going to be a storage thing, so stay tuned for part two and more and more things that I will do to the garage to make it, you know, pretty much like the ultimate haven for OEM Plus vehicles. Because that's where we're at. The OEM Plus garage. Comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next one. And peace. We are out.